Now, if you think you can dance, you're definitely going to love our next guest. They've introduced us to some of the most talented dancers across the globe on their hit show, So You Think You Can Dance. Please welcome award-winning choreographers Nigel Lithgow and Adam Sheckman. <laughs> I need a stretcher. Are you kidding? My, my hands. Oh, yeah, that was great. Ow. You guys have been dancing for a long time, though. When did you start? <laughs> Collectively, since, you know, the medieval years. I mean, uh, well, you brought us some pictures. I think we have some pictures here. Oh, no. Please, God, what? I. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. That, yeah, that was, that was me yesterday. I just wow. took that in my backyard. How about you, Nigel? Do we have a picture of you? Uh, they didn't really have cameras when I was coming. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no, literally, I was, I was like, we could get a picture of Nigel, but we'd have to actually go to Stonehenge because it's etched on the side <laughs> of, the, of one of the rocks. It's like a cave painting. Well, you work together on So You Think You Can Dance. What are some of the, the moments that have stood out for you? I think I was inspired by Adam once when he didn't realize he had his microphone on. Oh, my God. And went through an entire evening of his sexual experiences. Oh, my God. Oh, and my everybody, God. everybody, everybody, all the camera guys and the director all heard <laughs> what he was up to. Are you serious? They got an earful, and then I looked at them and was like, yep, yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's the best way to do it. You got to own it. That was and inspirational. Like that. that was no, my no, no. inspirational moment. <laughs> yeah. That oh. having been said, um, segue, we, um, you know, we've, listen, you've been doing, you know, they, he just said, celebrated the 10th anniversary. Did, that, so you think he's been dancing. Which is not just 10 seasons, it's 12 seasons. Um, and, you know, I, I went out on the road, uh, seven of those, and um, the, um, you know, what you do is you get, these pages that the producers give you when you're seeing the dancers in all the different cities, and it lists, you know, what their kind of their backstories. Yeah. Backstory yeah. And um, and one after another, it was, you know, um, dance saved his life. Brother was killed in this. Homeless. Dance saved their life in this. Got me um, through drug addiction. Got me through alcohol addiction. These are young kids. And you have a project that's close to your heart called Dizzy the, Feet Foundation, the yeah. Dizzy Feet Foundation. This, we, we really started this. We, we believe that you know, the education system in this country at the moment is not finding out what kids are good at. It's oh. just turning around and saying, you have to be good at regurgitating the facts we give you in order to pass tests. Uh, and it's just the wrong way of creating society as far as, you know, none of us, none of us are the same. And, and who knows what's going to be required of us in the future? So how does the Dizzy Feed Foundation um, help? We, we, we go, fix it all. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we Just go like around and educate well, you've everybody. Actually impacted a lot of dancers who who've gone on to do really really big things. And like we, like you. Yes. <laughs> we, yes. You Boogie know, Nights. We we worked together on Boogie Nights yeah. 17 years Whoa. ago. 18 years ago. 18. Whoa. 18 years ago. Wow. 18 years ago when you were 10. Yes, when I was 10. <laughs> Playing that. And a half. I was 10 and a half. Yeah. Oh, half. Yes. How, how did the dancing play into uh, Boogie Nights? We had, it was the 70s, baby. Oh, that's right. Disco. <laughs> we, disco. Right. We have one of those exceptional dancers here with us. He's the winner of So You Think You Can Dance season 10. Please welcome Fiction. <laughs>
Congratulations. That How's it going? Amazing. Good, yeah. good, good. That's good. So small. That's it amazing. was so sweet. You're when Nigel taught him all that, it was great. <laughs> yeah. was You're great performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes, so I am. Tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition, and um, I usually go to go showcase. And it's really cool because they really let me. Um, like, they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great. And which also, uh, like, it's my freestyling and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city. So. Well, you sure are. <laughs> why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because, first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's, it's movement. There's intake with, um, with music. There's, you have the music going on in your head. You get physically exhausted from it. It creates mm -hmm. energy inside your body. I think dancing is generally, in a, you know, thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all, you know, when, when they invented fire when he was around. <laughs> and, he, you know, and he was dancing around. It was all joy and celebration and praise and, and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we, we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it transcends race, it transcends gender, it transcends culture. Absolutely. And you see these kids yes. who are on poverty level who are addressing each other with respect, mm. experiencing community, self-esteem. It's social yes. glue community. as well. It's, it's social glue. Bringing communities together. This is awesome. Well, you have some mad pop-locking skills. I've got a few of my own. So oh! oh. Yeah. oh boy. So you might want to brush me up and then teach him some. <laughs> okay, brush up on some. <laughs> okay, so some basics. Just give us some basics. Okay. Some basics. Okay, so right. first, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take. Oh, we're gonna man. take our hands out. Just like do a little. Do I have to take this jacket off? Oh, no. I mean, we doing do, this I too. I tend to look better in jackets. Oh, yeah, Lord. yeah. So you're gonna take your hands like this. You're gonna bring your hand down. Oh, I, I'm, ready. I'm with you. I'm with you. So we're gonna bring your hand down. Yeah. We're gonna pop our elbow up. Oh my God, we're doing the. We're wave. gonna pop our shoulder. We're gonna pop our other shoulder. We're gonna do our elbow. Elbow. We're gonna bring it out like this. Oh. Bring it in. Oh, oh is there it? <laughs> See, he, was, he took it through the chest. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, about yeah, he, he added the. That's key oh. too. That is key too. But I didn't have to tell you that. You already got it. Natural. Natural. Natural, natural, natural talent. Because there's nothing harder <laughs> than like an old Jew, like. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that, you that, got that, something? Don't you, don't you guys have? Hey, that was so much fun. Something going on this weekend, right? August the 1st, we were at Club Nokia with the Dizzy Feet Foundation Gala. Woo. Love it. It's our celebration of dance. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> tickets are available <laughs> now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam uh, and Nigel. Thank, thank you, thank you for so being so here. Much. For more information on the celebration of dance gala, go to our Facebook page. We'll be right back. <laughs> to do really, really big things. And like, we... like you. Yes! <laughs> yes! You Boogie know, Nights. We, we worked together on Boogie Nights yeah. 17 years ago. 18 years ago. 18. 18 years ago. Wow. 18 years ago when you were 10. Yes, when I was 10. <laughs> Playing that. And a half. I was 10 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. How, yes. how did the dancing play into uh, Boogie Nights? We had, it was the 70s, baby. Oh, that's right. Disco. <laughs> we, disco. Right. We have one of those exceptional dancers here with us. He's the winner of So You Think You Can Dance season 10. Please welcome Fiction! <laughs> It was so sweet. When Nigel taught him all that, it was great. <laughs> yeah. was You're great performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes, so I am. Tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition, and um, I usually go to go showcase. And it's really cool because they really let me, um, 
like they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great, and which also uh, like it's my freestyle and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city. So. Well, you sure are. <laughs> why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's it's movement. There's intake with um, with music. There's you have the music going on in your head. You get physically exhausted from it. It creates mm -hmm. energy inside your body. And dancing is generally in a you know thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all you know when, when they invented fire when he was around, <laughs> and he, you know and he was dancing around. It was all joy and celebration and praise and and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we, we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, It was so sweet. When Nigel taught him all that, it was great. <laughs> yeah. it was You're great performing day. now in World of Dance, right? Yes, yes, so I am. Tell us all about that. Um, well, it's like this giant hip hop competition, and um, I usually go to go showcase. And it's really cool because they really let me, um, like, they really let me just kind of like do my freestyling, uh, which is really great. And which also, uh, like, it's my freestyle and my personality that I get to just let it out on stage every time, city to city. So. Well, you sure are. <laughs> Why, why do you think dance is such a powerful expression? Um, I think because, first of all, it calls on all of your things. It's, it's movement. There's intake with, um, with music. There's, you have the music going on in your head. You get physically exhausted from it. It creates mm -hmm. energy inside your body. I think dancing is generally in a, you know, thought of back when he was born in the Stone Age. It was all, you know, when, when they invented fire when he was around. <laughs> and, he, you know, and he was dancing around. It was all joy and celebration and praise and, and all of that. Now, you know, with contemporary dancing, it expresses an enormity. In our, in our foundation, in the Dizzy Feet Foundation, when I look at our site visits and I see kids in some of the most horrible areas in the country, we're, we, we're hitting well over 60,000 kids yeah. now. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it transcends race, it transcends gender, it transcends culture. Yes. And you see these kids yes. who are on poverty level who are addressing each other with respect, mm -hmm. experiencing community, self-esteem, social yes. community as well. It's, it's social glue. To dish together. This is awesome. Well, you have some mad pop blocking skills. I've got a few of my own. So oh, oh, yeah. Oh boy. So you might want to brush me up and then teach him some. <laughs> okay, brush up on some. Okay, so some basics. Just give us some basics. Okay. Some basics. Okay, so right. first, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take. Oh, we're gonna take our hands out. Just like do a little. Do I have to take this jacket off? Oh, no. I mean, doing this I too? tend to look better in jackets. Oh, yeah, Lord. yeah. So you're gonna take your hands like this. You're gonna bring your hand down. Oh, I, I'm, ready. I'm with you, I'm with you. So we're gonna bring your hand down. Yeah. We're gonna pop our elbow up. Oh my God, we're doing the we're wave. We're gonna pop our shoulder. We're gonna pop our other shoulder. We're gonna do our elbow. Elbow. We're gonna bring it out like this. Oh! Bring it in. Oh, oh is there it? <laughs> See, he, was, he took it through the chest. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, yeah. He, he, he added the, that's key too, that is key too. But I didn't have to tell you that, you I already know. got it. Natural. Yeah.